Hi guys, welcome to number two Mill Court. This fantastic three bedroom semi detached property at the bottom of a lovely quiet cul de sac here. Really nice plot. Off road parking for two large cars, maybe three small cars, um, and a really good, useful detached garage. Uh, let's take you in and show you. So really nice position on the cul-de-sac here. We're at, right at the very end of the cul-de-sac. Uh, obviously slightly different plot shape to some of the others. So this really big parking area, nice uh, planted front garden, pathways you walk in, really nice. Bay window, and then into the front door. Our little friends here as well, showing us around. <laughs> So you've got a really nice spacious hallway when you come in. It's got an alarm panel in. It's a fairly brand new home, so it's still covered under a warranty as well, which is good. Um, hallway takes you into the nice kitchen diner. Lots of natural light. Again, you're at a cul-de-sac position, so quite private. You're not really overlooked by anybody. Obviously no through traffic at all, which is really good. And then you've got this really nice big kitchen. Some extra sort of smaller, shallower base units and wall units up here. Got a nice smeg double oven, five ring induction hob as well. Overhead extractor. Dishwasher integrated. Stainless steel sink and drainer. Freezer and fridge. So everything you need. Downstairs WC. Again with most modern new build houses these days. Something that you would expect. Um, not many have Villery and Bosch though, um, which this one does, which is really nice, really, really high spec uh, sanitary wear, which is good. Concealed system which is tiled, full flush, low flush option. Uh, very, very sort of top of the range really. Wall hung, wash and basin as well. Tiled at the back, mixer tap, radiator, and tiled flooring as well. Really nicely done as well. This house is, uh, is what I would call immaculately presented. Uh, really, really stunning throughout and um, ready to move into 100%. We've got like this solid wood flooring all the way through as well, which is really good. So I'll take you through into the lounge area. Nice spacious hallway into the lounge. So the lounge looks over the back garden through this big set of double French doors. Uh, opening side lights as well, either side. Plenty of natural light. We'll get the drone up in a bit if it's not too windy, um, but very private and a really good view as well at the back. So again, it's a really good plot on this estate. You're not overlooked at the back or the front, um, sort of sweeping around the corner. So again, really, really good. We've got a gas, wood burning effect fire. A stone half, nice and cozy, TV above, keeping, uh, keeping plenty of space. And then we've also got some handy under stairs cupboard storage uh, for cleaning stuff, vacuum cleaner, all that kind of thing. So a nice downstairs space, separate lounge, nice dining area attached to the kitchen. Um, and then let's take you upstairs and show you the three bedrooms. One with an ensuite and master bathroom. So we'll go into the bedroom number one with the ensuite. Bedroom number one, double room. All the rooms as well benefit from fitted furniture, which, you know, it's of show home quality is how I would describe it. Ready to move in, immaculately presented. No lugging of wardrobes when you come. They're all here, they're all fitted and they're all ready to go. And they're all really nice neutral colors as well, which I like. So we've got one there with the mirror on. Again, outlook to the rear. It's as private as you're gonna get, I would say. Really nice view. 
another set of double wardrobes here, and then take you into the ensuite. Which is good. Again, Delirium Bosch. Um, sanitary wear, all the same spec throughout the house. So you've got the conceal system again, different flush options, wall hung, wash hand basin, chrome towel rail, and then you've got a shower tray, shower cubicle, which is of a good size. Um, a lot of houses that we see, new build houses particularly, uh, can have a really small shower tray that, to be honest, nobody can really use, but that is what I would call a good size shower tray, to have a proper shower in it. Also mains fed shower, so it comes directly off the boiler, so no need for uh, electric shower. So good, yeah, blind as well, it's got ceiling extraction, every bathroom's got extractors in, which again is something that's needed and useful, something you might not think about, but um, definitely a must. Let's go to... Well, let's stay on the landing actually and let's have a look at the cleaning cupboard which is a nice feature so a traditional sort of airing cupboard but it also has uh, plumbing for a washing machine which is a nice place to put the washing machine instead of the kitchen area so again good, a good idea master bathroom again said it before same spec again wall hung wash hand basin toilet Exposed system this time, but again, still a high spec. We're sort of fully tiled around the bath area, shower. Bath sides tiled in as well, again, which is good. Tiled floor, uh, and then a nice sort of semi-tiled bathroom uh, around, the, around the sides with a mirror. And then a really large, good chrome towel rail. Shaver socket as well. Probably more for the electric toothbrush than a shaver socket these days. But it's there and again extractor obscure glass for the window blinds as well yeah good to go mains fed shower full-size bath it's quite a deep bath as well which is nice so for a hot soak um, it's good nice and deep let's take you into bedroom number two again double and lots of fitted furniture again. So we've got the matching bedside tables, which match the wardrobes. Again, neutral colors, keeping the same color scheme throughout the house with these really good sliding doors as well. So making the most of the space, no wardrobes to bring to the property. Let's have a look at the view out the front. Again, what I would call fairly private. No houses directly overlooking you, and you can just sort of see and appreciate the size of the parking at the front as well. We have the garage, and then I parked my car there, so maybe in one of the neighbour's spots, I'm not sure. But I won't be long. So, yeah, again, quiet um, and very private. Take into the last bedroom, bedroom number three. I'd call this a single room. Um, different options of what you can do in here. Now, the current owners of the property, um, they've put full fitted wardrobes in with a really sort of handy workstation which I thought was quite a nice idea. So, yeah, we've got like a desk space in here, printer up there, nice idea, it keeps it tucked away, keeps it minimalistic, keeps away all the clutter but then it turns into a desk and then we've obviously got more wardrobe space here. So, uh, more of like a dressing room stroke home study but again to you know, you'd probably get a cot in here. Single bed, you might get one, but you might struggle. Um, but it, obviously, if you wanted to turn this back into a bedroom, then you'd, you'd look to probably remove the wardrobes and maybe put them somewhere else off sell. But if you wanted it as a home office and a dressing room, it's perfectly set up. So, yeah, good. Right, I'm going to take you downstairs now. Back from the landing. Take you back downstairs and let's go out and have a look at the back garden. So we're going to go out through the double doors at the back, the dog's going to follow me, I hope I can get him back in, <laughs> but we've got the rear garden here, so we've got this nice sort of modest sized patio area, now you could decide to extend this if you wanted to, but it's probably enough for a decent set of table and chairs, sun lounger or whatever you want to do. Um, grassed area, again nice and tidy, 
private fencing down both sides. And you've got a nice sort of patio area down at the bottom. There's a hot tub there, uh, table and chairs. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll get the evening sun in the garden. And again, really, really private. I'll just show you around the side to finish, which again is important because you've got side access secure by design. Nice bit of access down the side there. There is like a, a rabbit hutch there for pets. Somewhere to put your bins. Um, everything's been thought of. So coming back out, let's show you inside the garage. Again, detached garage. Manual op operated overhead door. It's also got electric in here as well. So we've got electric sockets at the back. Probably got some more in somewhere. Um, yeah, there's another set of double sockets there and, and the light as well. So this is actually a really good sized garage. Um, I'll put the measurements on the listing. Um, but what I would say is you've got enough space to actually park a proper size car in here, which is quite unique really. Um, not many garages these days actually fit cars, but this one definitely would. So I'll put the, I'll put the, uh, put the measurements online.